get things the business needs or get things you can actually make some money with. If I'm too smart to be broke. I'm too smart to be broke. I'm too smart to be broke. Where's the money? Hey, peace, peace. Greetings, family. What's going on? It's Cornelius Too Smart to Be Broke. I want to thank you for coming to the channel today. If it's your first time here, I'm normally talking about making money online, generational wealth, business credit, and things of that nature. Today, I want to just touch on a topic real quick with you all. Um, business credit as a new business. All right. So lately, a few people have been hitting me up, asking me a few questions, and let me just kind of recover some things for y'all um, that may, may be new or, or just getting started. Maybe I can provide some insight. First things first, I'm not a financial advisor, an attorney, a mentor, or anything like that. I'm just a brother out here uh, playing some seeds as I'm learning some information because I'm always uh, learning or whatever. So don't look at me like, nah, nah, I'm just like y'all. got to pay my bills, figure this and that out and everything. But look, some of my insight uh, has been able to help y'all out. So that's what I'm going to continue to do. But that being said, family, um, check this out. Business credit as a new business. First of all, can you go out and get credit cards as a brand new business um, without two or three years in business? All right. You know, the particular question is going to be yes and no. You know what I'm saying? Uh, depends on your circumstance and what exactly that you it is you're trying to do. All right. A lot of times when you go to these places, uh, these places such as, you know, it could be uh, it could be Sam's Club. It could be Lowe's. It could be Amazon. It could be uh, Best Buy. It could be any of these places. OK, it could be your your local bank, your 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 uh, your banks, your um your national nationwide banks okay a lot of them will ask you uh uh you know now with the banks aside but a lot of the, the the retail credit card places and have visas american express a lot of these places will ask you uh, uh to be two or three years specifically i know for a fact like sam's club i think home depot uh lowe's amazon a lot of these places will ask you say if your business has not been in business two or three years uh you know you you can't even apply it might don't even apply you won't get approved that's a requirement now in some businesses they stick to that a lot of times the banks are going to be the ones or really firm on the two to three years if they ask for it because they're going to want to see tax returns or they're going to want to see uh you know something normally they're going to want to see those tax returns for two to three years uh before they even you know take your application not all banks just some all right just a, a lot of them but just some not all of them though okay and then when it comes to some of these retailers um sometimes they say that on the paperwork but if your business if you have your business credit foundation set up properly and you have a good payment history, you know, sometimes they, they don't, they don't check for that. All right. Now I've seen that plenty of times. It just depends on the particular business credit card that you're trying to get. Okay. So that's why when you are looking to start as a brand new business, all right, you need some type of leverage. Either it's going to be a good business credit profile partner with um, a good transactional history as far as making money through your payment merchants or making money in your bank account or having something to leverage something such as a good uh, personal credit score. If you want a personal guarantee, uh, I went over that in one of my uh, previous videos. So be sure to check that out if you want to learn about what that is. But that's pretty much somebody who has good personal credit uh, that can walk in and say, I got a 749 credit score or something like that. And, you know, based on utilization, everything, they may approve you on some credit, a brand new out the bed the same day you went and applied for the secretary of state and got your EIN and everything, right? You can get business credit that fast. However, a lot of people want to move a little smarter and try to separate themselves from um that that business entity entity and the individual rather and move that way okay um it's just one piece these are just one piece you know llc and all this is one piece to the game it's like a baby step into a bigger realm of things that's going on out here in this matrix but if you're just getting started a lot of people who are starting off as individuals and uh sole proprietors as well okay look i can't get anybody any legal advice once again i'm just a brother out here just like y'all right but from my insight Okay, uh, operating as a sole proprietor, it doesn't have any separation of liability, um, you know, and everything is attached to that individual, you know, it's, it's, it's there. You feel what I'm saying? So the one of the perks of having business and being able to start multiple business entities and operate, in a, in, you know, in a proper way. And, uh, you know, there is just that business is liable if it's set up and administered and structured uh, properly. But that's something you want to go talk to an accountant for. Uh, make sure you're not commingling dollars and all that type of stuff. All right. I can't really 
help you with that. I can just say, hey, go check with an accountant and attorney. But for business credit purposes, all right, when you're operating as a sole proprietor as well, a lot of times you're not able to get as much capital because you're not operating as a big dog corporation. You're operating still on that individual level, uh, which is is not able to, to maneuver in this matrix as well. This, this matrix, it was set up to operate in other fictitious entities, okay? Um, not to say that the individual is not one, but that's another story, all right? Um, but for lamest terms, because I don't want to lose nobody, let's just backtrack. If you have a brand new business and you're looking to get business funding, typically, all right, you're going to need something to leverage. A good business credit foundation helps. A good personal credit score helps, all right? Making money helps, all right? Having uh, things... Uh, um, that you can collateral or have collateral. So having some type of inventory will help. Having a business partner with a good pre personal credit score will help. Okay. Having good history with pay payment merchants will help. Okay. Uh, but typically we're going to have to have to get something to leverage. All right. Either got good relationships with a good history and, uh, or, you know, you, you making some money. So th those are the basis. Those are just the, the basic, the basic foundation level that you at. Now, if you had a sober party level, I respect and salute anybody out here who's making a way, making us some legitimate money, uh, being moral. And, um, these times is crazy. So look, Hey, look, if you got to get on, jump out there as a sole proprietor. Hey, look, I get it, but you know, make your money. And if you want to transition to another, um, another entity later or create, excuse me, create a whole new entity and transition into that platform. Hey, look, do what you do. You feel what I'm saying? So this right here is challenging family. All right. But it's a good challenge because it's time to break these generational curses and, you know, and, and, and uplift our people and everything and start doing business with one another. All right. Start circulating this dollar amongst our, our, our peers and, and our our friends and, and associates who are out here doing business with our people. So that's the way that we really going to thrive. I know I'm getting off track, but that's how we going to thrive is doing business with one another, uh, building uh, our economy with one another. And uh, that, that that's really it. So I really just want to come and make a quick video for people asking me, like new business this, new business that. Yes, new business can get business credit. Same day, next day. All right. But typically there's some things you're going to want to put in place. So that's why I say, Hey, give us some months. It depends on which route you're trying to go. Now, if you want to uh, just PG out the gate, get that personal credit fixed. Okay. Now, if you want to build a, a business credit foundation and so on and so forth, all right, you want to figure out how to uh, make some, make money, make money, make, make money with no money. Uh, and there's plenty of ways out here to do it, but are you willing to go out here and do this. Okay. You got kids who are YouTubers. All right. Probably thousandaires and millionaires and stuff like that. And all they do is make content. Okay. People playing video games. Okay. It's people twerking in their fashion over content. It's people on their only fans. All right. It's people on their Patreon. It's, it's plenty of ways out here to go out here and get it. But are you willing to put in that work to get it? All right. Because hindsight some of this money, is some of the simplest money to get out here, but sometimes we can overcomplicate things or a lot of stuff can hold us back. But I'm telling you today is the day. If you, if you feel it in your bones to get started, you know, do uh, as your heart and, and your spirit uh, uh, feels to do so. All right. I can't tell anybody what to do and let me go ahead and, 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 and back off and get back to this point. Look, Brand new businesses can get funding depending on your situation. Once again, all right, if you have a good personal credit score and if your business is making money and if your business has something to leverage, typically that's what I see. All right. Hey, look, that's just the way, you know, the game is out here, you know, dealing with the banks and stuff like that. But the fintechs, you can't get no PG guarantee, uh, you know, no PG, excuse me, funding and things like that. But it's ultimately up to you and how you want to operate. All right. So if y'all know some people out there, you know, legitimate, moral people that, um, you know, maybe can take things a step further, maybe some, some things that I don't know uh, that y'all can tap into ethical, legal, moral uh, to get y'all some funding. Like, hey, if y'all already had a business, y'all could have tapped in with this PPP. You could have got an EIDL, uh, you know, uh, you know, all your, all of that stuff. All right. So it's ways I had to get funding. It's people out here. It's people, it's, you know, I ain't really tapped into the grants and stuff like that, but it's, it's ways I had to get money, minorities, all type of stuff, uh, farmers, all that. Okay. So y'all go tap in with that. Because you are able to get business credit funding as a new business. If you're going out here, that's my last thing. If you're going out here 
and you broke already, okay, and you trying to get business credit and you're trying to get all these vendors and stuff, just stop. Stop for a minute. Stop for a minute. You need to be focusing on making some money, all right? Don't get caught up out here. If your pockets can't afford $50 at uh, Quill, $50 at Granger, $50 at Uline. Now, this is for a bigger picture, but I'm saying don't break yourself. Make some money. And if you are ordering from these places, okay, get things the business needs, all right? Need, might need some toilet paper to wipe your hind parts. Get things the business needs. Also, as I spoke about when I was speaking about getting stuff from Amazon Lowe's, get things the business can flip and make money from if you are going to get these net accounts, okay? I'm telling you from my own personal experience, all right? Get things the business needs or get things you can actually make some money with if you're going to get these net accounts, all right? If you're going to go out and get these gas cards, use that vehicle to make some money, okay? Do, these are the things that you should be looking at. If you are looking just to get vendors and you are broke or have or low on funds, I wouldn't go out there and just to get the vendors if I'm not making any money or it's not going to be beneficial to the business. All right. I just felt like I should say that. All right. It's a very powerful thing to have your vendors and stuff in place. For those of you all who are new may not know what I'm talking about, but for those who already know about the Business Credit Foundation that I go over, okay, uh, a lot of you can get a, a net 30 vendors to report to the business credit reporting agencies and um, which is done at Brad Street, uh, business experience and business Equifax. OK, and it's very, very important to have a good business credit profile. However, don't get caught up getting all these vendors. Thank you. You're just going to wake up to a million dollars. All right. You're going to have to be making some money, having some leverage. All right. So create you a business plan. Go to SBA dot gov while you're on there you know check out what they got uh, you know what i mean and then they have like a simple one page business plan that you model that and have some type of vision about how you're gonna make this money out here okay with that being said if y'all want to learn how to structure your business the right way to set you up to get business funding learn some places that you can get no pg business funding and places that you can get pg funding all right i got a link in the description if you want to go to my business credit course at this time, it's ninety nine ninety seven, okay. All right, I spent thousands of dollars and and a lot of trial and error with some things. Y'all can go check that out. Now, say if you just getting started, you say, "Man, bro, I ain't got." Okay, look, go to nav.com. I got a link below for that. They monitor business credit. You can pull your business credit profile. They'll and they'll let you search it if you ain't never pulled it before, and you can monitor your credit for free. All right. Now, if you're with me, I will go and do that just for free. Now, I have to make let you know I am an affiliate of NAV, but I use NAV and I like them. I get eight dollars just for you signing up for free. So if you choose to do that, cool. But the big thing about NAV is they get a lot of game, a lot of information and they give you access to some stuff. All right. Now, it's not going to be everything, but they're going to give you a good portion of what you need uh, to get going. So if you don't want to tap into the course, so I'm getting direct to the information. Check out nav.com. It'll at least get you going. All right. I'll see y'all soon. Peace.